Karma View Media. The view from the other side. Hey Jess, welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you? Hi, yeah. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm having a good Friday. Good. <laughs> having a good Friday. All right, we're going to jump straight into this. Okay. <laughs> so the first section is your breasts. We're going to get straight into you and your breasts. Yeah. So the first. All question, right. Here we go. <laughs> first question is the average size. The average size bra in the UK is 36 double D. What is your size? That's the average size? Yeah. So Google tells me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the average size. My God. I'm like an infant <laughs> compared to that. Um, I think the last time I got checked, it was like a 34B. I don't even know. Okay, 34B. Fine, fine. All right, next question. 36 double D. 36 My double goodness. D, yeah. <laughs> the ladies okay. are blessed. They're blessed. <laughs> hey, they're blessed here. Okay. All right, what's the funniest thing you found in your cleavage? Um, I would have to have cleavage for that to happen. <laughs> um, I'm not as blessed as the women here in the UK, but... um. I don't know. Maybe like if I was eating something and like it like fell in my sports bra, that would probably be the funniest thing. Like popcorn is the worst. That's the one. Yeah, that's the, that's the that's the one I've been hearing like, the most. <laughs> yeah, popcorn. Yeah. popcorn. <laughs> All right, cool. Okay, breast size is hereditary, so they tell me. Did you get yours from mm -hmm. your mom, your grand, great grand, or are you just the only one with your size in your family? Um, no, I think that when I look at my aunts on both, both sides and my mom, I, uh, I think it runs in the family. Um, and it, my mom will always say like, oh, when you have kids, they'll grow. And I'm like, okay, yeah. but before that, <laughs> before that, are they, no, okay, they're just gonna, all right. <laughs> cool, yeah. cool, cool. <laughs> all right. Next one. They say um, not all breasts are created equal. Normally, the left one is the bigger one. Is that true for you? No. I would say I think it's my right one. Okay. My right one. So they're they're not created equal, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, and no, 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 There's no, 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 for surgery because surgery, it's going to happen anyways because it'll probably <laughs> sag when you have surgery so there's no need for it there's no need there's that need. <laughs> all right cool mm -hmm. okay how often do you notice guys staring at your breast and does it upset you or does it make you feel sexy i don't think i ever really noticed that oh. um for me it's a little bit different i'm not blessed in the upper region all my blessings went to the lower region, so that's where most that's people... Where, that's where the eyes go. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, for me, it's just like, go ahead, look. I don't feel a certain way. I'm not like, oh, my gosh. I'm just like, hey, it's there. It looks nice. I appreciate you appreciating what I have. So, <laughs> cool. Yeah. yeah. I, I like that's that me. one. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Okay. Do you like more one? Do you like one more than the other? And if so, which one? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think so. No, there's no, never one. Even I'm the like, right hey, one. Like, yeah. No, no. 
Okay. No, I don't think so. I don't think I've ever like favored one more than the other one. Cool. Yeah. All right. Next question. When was the last time you was fitted for a bra? And do you recommend women do that? Last time I was fitted. It was some years ago and I currently still have that bra. I personally don't get fitted much because I don't go through bras like crazy. And I'm like, if you have a good set of like two or three, you'll be good. And they're not like falling apart or being worn and tear. Because personally, I wear regular bras and sports bras. I wear sports bras more so than regular bras. But I think that if you are more of the blessed women in the upper region, I would say go get fitted because if you have more support on them, it can help with a lot of like back problems and fix all the other issues that come with more heavier and blessed breast. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Okay, cool. All right. Last two questions in this part. Do you think there's such a thing as an ideal size? If so, what is an ideal size for you? It's it's weird. It's like, no, I don't think there's such thing as the ideal size. But for me, there's certain like clothes that I know would look better on me or like fall better because I have broad shoulders. And so it fits a little weird up here. But I know okay. if I had a little bit more bigger breasts, it would like fit better. But for me, I'm like, hey, whatever you have, <laughs> that's your ideal size. Cool, cool. All right, last question. I think you kind of answered it already, but I'm going to ask you anyway. In general, are the men you attract boob guys or booty guys? There, I've asked guys this, and I'm like, I know I don't have much, but like, <laughs> they're like, we don't care. Like, yes. most guys like, don't care, but they want more one or the other. And since I have one of the other ones, they're like, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So that's that section out the way. Okay, now we're okay. going to go into <clears throat> your breasts and men in general. Yeah, so your experience oh, with man. men, unwanted looks or touches. Have you got a story for me, like a teenage story and an adult story? Um, Not a teenage story, because I didn't really talk to dudes or interact with guys like that when I was younger. It was more so in my adult years. Um, I guess the most, like, weirdest thing for me when it comes to, like, guys and uh, breast for me is like when they like like you know how people say like play little violins when they do that I'm just like no or they like flick it I'm just like stop please that's <laughs> yeah, very that, uncomfortable um, for me tuning the radio station in <laughs> yeah and I'm like no please please don't do that and it's just like mm, all right when is this gonna be over or they're like flick it like it's a little like fly they're trying to get off of paper and I'm like just don't it doesn't feel good it's not it's not enjoyable <laughs> uh good yeah I think we can blame porn for that one yeah <laughs> uh, yeah That's hilarious yeah. That's hilarious all right cool <laughs> so um <laughs> how, so well uh, you already explained how that made you feel um <laughs> I was going to say, did that make you change anyway? But so you haven't been like, there's been no random touches or anyone being inappropriate about them. No, I haven't. I no. haven't experienced that. All right, cool. All right. Well, that section gets squashed down nice and easy. So we're going to move All on. Right, to perfect. <laughs> would you rathers yeah okay so okay. first one is would you rather be stabbed by your underwire bra or a bra strap flick you know from the back which which would you rather take a, a bra a, a bra strap flick i'll take a that 
outfit. <laughs> okay, strapless the bra. Underwires. <laughs> strapless bra or no bra free to groups? Mm. <laughs> it all depends on what setting. If I'm if I'm going out, I'll say strapless bra. I can't I can't just free I, I can't free the nipple out <laughs> in the public. I'm like, no. I need to cover myself. Uh good. Okay, next one. Be seen in a bikini that's too small or be seen picking crumbs out of your cleavage. <laughs> I'll take the crumbs. You take, I'll take the, crumbs. the crumbs out of my cleavage. Yep. I'll take the crumbs out of my cleavage for sure. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't one. need a nip slip out on the beach. <laughs> oh, that that, one, that that's gonna be coming up. One of those is coming up. But wear, wear a t-shirt okay. with the words juicy melons on it. Or wear a t-shirt that reads free the boobs while freeing the boobs. I think I know you see melons. Do. You see melons. <laughs> you see melons. Okay, next one. Be an oxymoron. <laughs> <laughs> Push up bras or sports bras. I think I know where you're going. I'll say sports bras. There you go. Thought so. Okay, next one. Um I'll pop out the shirt slash nip slip or breast leaking milk. Which would you rather be caught? <laughs> oh. Um. <laughs> Two extremes. Uh. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. It's like Janet Jackson or a mother. <laughs> um. yeah. <laughs> I think I'll take the, the milk leaking. I'll, I think I'll surprise with the milk leaking. Yeah, I always speak to myself. That one, I don't even, I understand the embarrassment, but yeah, you're a mother. That's a good thing. Yeah, me. Good yeah, thing. yeah, <laughs> exactly. All right, next one. Nipples being sucked or whole boob being squeezed? Mm, whole boob being squeezed. Boob being squeezed. Stay away from the nipples, yeah. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, They're off limits. Don't touch it. <laughs> Next one: three perfect one thousand pound bras, or ten free bars, free bras from Primark or Walmart. <laughs> um, ten. The second option: ten free bras. The free ones, yeah. Primark. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay. Second to last one: him not care about your breast at all. Or your breast being his favorite part of you? Him not caring about my breast at all. Okay. okay. Last one. Yeah. Annoyingly big boobs and a lot of friends or annoyingly small boobs and no friends? <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. mm -mm -mm. I'll take the small boobs. Small boobs and no friends, yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I'll be okay by myself. <laughs> less, <laughs> less back pain, less, less pain that comes with it. Lovely. All right. Okay. Let's move into topic two. Which is breasts and sport. So there's only six questions in this one, but the first one is pros and cons. If you can give me five each of Rest in sports. Five pros, five cons. Okay. Or as many as you can for each side. Okay, pros. Um, they make your uniform look nice as a pro. Um, nice. They protect, they protect like um, just the bones that are underneath the breast. So it's like, it's protection. So Excellent. the bigger they are, the more protection. Yeah, the more protection you have for pros. Um, what other pros can I don't know what other mm -hmm. pros there can be with having breast and support for cons there if you're a runner it's a lot it's added oh. added weight you have added pain you have to buy more stuff to keep them down have to layer up it's just a lot more work when yeah. you have bigger boobs in yeah. sports. Definitely. Yeah. So there's definitely more cons, you say, than pros. Yeah? 
Yes. Just in definitely. general. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Question two. Do women look slash talk about breasts in the locker room changing rooms? Yes. I've noticed that um, where I grew up, I grew up in Michigan, and I noticed that there I – the girls I was around were more freer, but once I got to um, California, it was a little bit, the atmosphere was a little bit different. Um, I had friends that we would talk about breasts and have them like out in the locker room. It was just more freeing in Michigan and just like talk about like, oh, this is what happened. Oh, they hurt today or they feel like this. But yes, they definitely do talk about it in the locker room. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. All right. Um, have you ever had or known someone who's had a breast injury from from sport? If so, any details? Yes, it is. A, I would say, I mean, I'm, I've never experienced being kicked in the balls, but I would say it's that. <laughs> it's like the same equivalent. If you get hit in the boob, especially in basketball, if you get an elbow to it, it's just like, oh, it's like a knot. Or like someone like grabbed your your boob and like twisted it and punched it at the same time. It uh, hurts. Does it make it you hurts. like? Does it make you like stop? Because like being kicked down there, it makes you stop for a while. You have to literally go down to the floor. <laughs> like, yeah, it can. You just about talk. <laughs> is it? Is it that? Or is it like yeah. different? Like, can you carry it, on? If it you, can. You got elbowed. Did you carry on? Or do you have to stop for a second? And after a few seconds, after a few seconds, or you'll carry, you'll push through it and you'll be like, oh, like at a timeout, you'll just be holding it and rubbing it like, oh my gosh, it hurts. <laughs> yeah, it can okay. be, it can get bad. It can get a bad scene. Okay. All right. Fourth question. Can you recommend a sports bar brand for women out there? Like, is there a certain one that you mm -hmm. always go to or do you shop around? I shop around. It's really like, it's really all about like what support you want. And for me, for me, it's pretty easy to shop around and get different types of bras, whether it's the cloth ones or like the dry fit ones. But I know that there are brands out there for uh, um, women who are more blessed than I am that can have more added support. So there's this bra out there where it has like a zip up the middle, you can strap it in the back and then you can strap it on the, the shoulder part. And yeah. I would say, I would recommend that for women who have bigger breasts than just a regular old sports bra because they have the power of one. They have the power of like five in one sports bra. Yeah. Yes. Actually, as you described it, I, I bought my mm. missus, I bought my missus one of those exact bras, and it's blue. It's, it's got it's got everything. Yeah. She love and she loves that. Yeah. That's the one for her. I'm good, like, I'm just good. those ones all the time. <laughs> <laughs> those ones then isn't it let's not mess around <laughs> there you go yeah right. number five what feels better after a long day taking off your shoes or taking off your bra i would say taking off my bra no matter what bra it is if it's a sports bra if it's a regular one it's just like a ha ah, all right it's <laughs> over i can okay. relax that, that, that relax is better than the feet one yeah For all you. depends on if i'm wearing heels if I'm wearing nah. heels, then it's just like, get these things <laughs> off me. But if it's just a regular day, it's just like, ah, okay. All right, lovely. Okay, last one, simple, kind of. Would you agree with this statement that balls are meant to be bounced, not breasts? <laughs> Do you agree with that? And I don't I mean say, the metal ball, I mean the ball. <laughs> uh, the, ba the basketball. <laughs> um, I would say, yeah. Because yeah. it, it hurts when they bounce. It hurts when they bounce. Yeah. You know, it's, it's quite weird now that I'm talking to you because you play ball. It's weird mm -hmm. that women, they have this on their body, yet it's like mm -hmm. it makes it harder for them to move around faster. It's like, is it meant to, are you mm -hmm. are bigger boo women not meant to do these things? Is that what that's meant to be? I don't, it's like, it's weird. Yeah. Because it's not like mm -hmm. men, down, men downstairs having different sizes doesn't stop us doing Yeah. That. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't. Oh, yeah, he's blessed, so he can't run fast. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, it's very strange. I find that very strange. All right, cool. Okay. Yeah. Topic number three is just bras. Yeah. So, okay. what design or type of bra, type of bra fits you best? I think we've answered that already. Sports bra, right? 
Yeah, sports bras. Bra. Okay. Do you wear a bra to bed and why? Whatever your answer is and why. Um, no. When I was younger, I did. And my mom always used to tell me, you got to let them breathe. I was like, but no, I can't. <laughs> I, I, like, I, I was like, I've heard that like, you're, gonna, you're gonna suffocate them and stunt their growth I was like they're not growing anymore <laughs> so I'm fine then once I got older I was like oh it just got to a point where I was like too lazy to put on a bra to put on a shirt I was like no I'm just gonna put on a shirt and it was the best decision I've ever made <laughs> cool, cool, cool. okay how often would you say to wash a bra all right say if you had one bra how was, often would you wash it? Mm -hmm. If you do laundry twice a week, wash it. If you're <laughs> if you're sweating in it more, like I wash my sports bras more than I wash my regular bras because okay. I'm sweating in them more. If you have a regular bra and you wash it once a week because you only wore it once a week or you only went out and used it once a week or however many and it's not dirty, then I would say as much as you do your laundry. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. To someone who doesn't know, how would you mm -hmm. explain what a bra fitting is and if it's necessary? So a bra fitting is uh, you uh, take the measurements, I think, of uh, like right underneath your boob. So where the like end of the bra is and you go like right across your nipples and you go like right across the top. So you're measuring each section of like the major the major parts of the bra so it fits well and then you get the circumference is the is the number part on like the bra and then the, the letter is the cup size and so you'll be able to get the circumference number correct and then from there they measure I forgot how they measure your cup size but from there they're able to figure out what cup size you are and I think it's very necessary for women to do it either once or twice in your life, like when you're younger and then as you grow up just to get the right bra size. So it's just comfortable for you. Right. Okay. Great explanation. Okay. Is the bra strap falling off a woman's shoulder something that women have to deal with or is it something that women are doing wrong? Something that I feel like it's something that women are doing wrong. <laughs> it should not fall off your shoulder. If it's falling off your shoulder, it's too big. And if it doesn't have adjustable things, you need a new bra. Or it's just like worn out to where you can't adjust it anymore. And it's time for a new one. So, <laughs> it's time for a new one. User error. User error. Cool, cool, yeah. cool. All right. Last, the second one. <clears throat> Should a bra give a woman a bulge? Or does that mean it's the wrong, wrong fitted bra or she's just a bigger girl? Like, should it, should it pop? <laughs> no, from, like, videos I've seen and, like, hearing women talk about how, like, certain bras give them back bulge, but once they got fitted and they got, like, a good bra, it did give them back bulge. It's all about if it doesn't, like, fit your body right, is it going to do things to your body that is not supposed to do? And so it's not supposed to give you a back bulge at all. It's not supposed to hurt. You're supposed to feel comfortable in your bra. And so if it does do that, you need to get a new one and get a better one. Go get fitted. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Go get fitted. <laughs> go get fitted. Okay. Last one in this section. Do you have any okay. bra hacks for women out there? Is there any tricks, Any anything? Is there a, a good way to wash a bra? Is there a good way? I don't know. <laughs> um... I don't think, I mean, with strapless bras, you can, uh, from when I was younger, I always thought like strapless bras just had to go up and back or you took them off. And then I learned that you can like, if you're wearing a cross, uh, like a back cross type of shirt, you can cross the straps to, for it to fit. You can change the straps in different ways to fit whatever shirt that you're wearing. Um, I wouldn't say that's a hack. I don't know, but I don't really have a hack when it comes to to bras. To bras. Yeah, no. Cool, lovely. All right, that's the end of that section. There we go. We're going for the okay. last main section and then the challenge is at the end.
Okay, so this section is called, it's called Inside the Mind of a Breast Owner. <laughs> yeah? Okay. I, gave it, I gave it a random <laughs> name. <laughs> um, okay, first, hey, so, 10 questions in this one. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. So what is your favorite thing about your breasts? If you have a favorite thing. <laughs> um, I do have a favorite thing. Uh, I have like a mark right on the top of my left one and it looks like a heart and it's like close to my heart so that's like my favorite little thing I discovered that when I was younger I was like oh, I have a little heart <laughs> and so I would say that's my favorite thing about it was it like a like a birthmark mark or is it like a beauty spot mark type thing it's not a birthmark because I have a birthmark on um the side my right side it's just like a little spot that's like lighter than my skin that oh. it looks like just a little mini heart. That's nice. That's cool. Look at that. That was perfect, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> okay, number two. Uh -huh. what, what is the least favorite thing about your breast? <clears throat> Sometimes I wish they were bigger. I would say that's my least favorite thing in like certain clothes. But other than that, they're fine to me. Um. Part two to that question about the clothes. Yes. Do you not wear that? If you was to wear something and then you don't think it looks right because of your breast, do you not 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 wear it then, or do you wear it anyway? I won't. I won't typically wear it. Like if I have if I bought something and it like doesn't fit right, then I'm like, no, I'm not gonna wear it. But as I've gotten older, I know like how I need to like buy something that fits my shoulders to wear like falls right and it looks good so i typically have clothes like that now to where it doesn't affect the way that i wear it but if if it doesn't look right i'm just like no it doesn't look right to me i'm not gonna wear it <laughs> i'm not gonna wear it cool cool yeah. all right <clears throat> what turns you on when it comes to your breasts <sighs> nothing really i really don't get <laughs> I had a feeling Turn you was going to say that. <laughs> Nothing really. <laughs> I really, I don't know. It's just weird. I really don't get turned on by my breasts. It's not like a, oh my God, it's like a, all right, when is this going to be over type deal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not alone. I know a few women that say that and I'm like, what? Okay. <laughs> but yeah. Wow. I thought I was the only Fair one. Enough. Was like, hey. Fair enough. Okay, yeah, next question. Is. What turns mm -hmm. you off? about your breasts <clears throat> is it the radio mm. play <laughs> yeah it's just the radio dials radio dials and the fly flicking i'm like mm, no no <laughs> so, please don't <laughs> <laughs> oh funny that's so funny all right number five <laughs> no. <laughs> what is your favorite breast word i.e breasts tits boobs tatas <laughs> uh chichis chichis that's a new one chichis. for me <laughs> yeah chichis yeah i had a friend back in um uni in the states and she uh, was hispanic and she called hers chichis and i was like oh, i like the name of that so ever since then i've been calling them chichis <laughs> okay cool <laughs> all right what is something you love to hear about your breast um I think if I'm wearing like a shirt and it has a little bit of cleavage and someone like points it out, I'm like, oh, I have <laughs> cleavage. Wow. Thank you. It's like an accomplishment. It's like, wow, they are there. They are a part of me. <laughs> cool. All right. What is something you hate to hear about your breast? I, uh, if like people's like describing, um, like the way my body is and they go like this and I'm like it's not that flat I promise <laughs> I, there's something there and they'll just describe it like that I'm just like all right okay <laughs> oh cool cool all right whose breast mm -hmm. if you can name someone famous other than your own would you like to have I don't think I've ever thought about that I I don't think I would want anybody else's because they come with they come with problems. I'll, I'll stick with mine and deal with mine. <laughs> cool. Okay. <laughs> Second to last question: Whose breast wouldn't you like to have? If that's a thing. 
Um, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want big ones. Whoever got the That's big, nice. big ones. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't, wouldn't want those at all. Yeah, okay. it gets to, it gets to a point where even myself, uh, a boob guy, is like, ah, oh, no, that's that uh, stop. Like it's too much. Yeah, it, it's it a... even looks sore. Like it's and it's more so the who have surgeries. Like you know those ones. It's yeah, like, and they're just they're balloons, and it's like, how do you how do you operate? How do you live like that? Yeah, that's the, like, you're like... suffocating yourself when you go to sleep and you <laughs> lay on your back. They just like <laughs> fall on your face. They fall to the side. Like what do they do? <laughs> Okay, last one. Much. Last question. If there was a naughty heaven, what would you like the man or woman at the gate to say about your breast as you walk through the pearly gates? Um, you've taken good care of your breasts. They're nice and perky. And I love your little heart on your left side. <laughs> <laughs> lovely, lovely. Excellent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to wrap this up with the challenge. Okay. I appreciate you coming of through. Course. I appreciate that. You did amazing. I loved it. Oh, thank you. Thank you for inviting I'll be, I'll be, me. We'll letting you know when it goes up and everything, so don't worry about that. Okay. Have All a right, great perfect. Friday, great weekend. All right. And you too. Take care, darling. Okay. Talk to you soon. Bye.